which you probably didn't know about. The former Fighting Irish coach put together plenty of masterpieces during his 20 years at the Joy Center, but did you know for the last 25 years, he's been working on a different kind of art. Now we can go downstairs and take a quick look. Walking through the home of Digger Phelps, you'll find all kinds of remnants from the career of a legendary basketball coach. This here is the ball from UCLA. When the game was over, Shoemate threw the ball in the air, and the student manager went and got it. Phelps slyly swapped it with a practice ball after the win so he could keep the real thing. I said, Lee Williams, that was his name. I know what you want. Take this back to the Hall of Fame. And I went up there once. You can't even find the ball, so I'm glad I have it. But Phelps's house isn't just decked out in memorabilia from his glory days with Notre Dame. Out here, you can see other paintings. Art is found splattered all over his walls like flecks of paint from a Jackson Pollock piece. This is known as the... Uh, birth of spring. When you look at the birth of spring, many things happen. The winter sky is leaving, the trees starting to bloom. This isn't your typical curated collection, though. I came home and painted this because of the impression that made on me. Most of the pieces are signed by their owner. A lot of people, when they come here the first time, they didn't know. I didn't know you were an artist. I said, yeah, dude, this is a hobby. <laughs> One of my passions and love. Phelps started painting 25 years ago after being introduced to famous artist Leroy Neiman. I said to him, I'm on the rules committee for the NCAA, and I get bored meetings, so I sketch French vineyards. He says, why don't you paint? And I looked, I said, paint? He says, yeah, you should be painting if you're sketching. Neiman may have given Phelps the idea, but it was a local artist, Char Sash, who put the brush in his hand at a time he needed it. After two decades with Notre Dame, Phelps knew his time with the Irish was coming to a close. This is what I come up with, the bloom of four faces. Sadness, happiness, loneliness, and ugliness. And this is the time when I'm thinking of leaving Notre Dame. Over the last two and a half decades, Phelps has painted countless works of art inspired by the likes of Vincent Van Gogh. He knows I'm a Van Gogh freak, so what he did is he spelled go like Van Gogh, go, digger, go. And other modern artists. Here's Digger being Matisse. <laughs> Despite having enough art to start his own gallery, Phelps has never sold a painting. The one with the Blue Mountain that I did over in France, I said, if I did a fundraiser, how would you evaluate these? She says, because of who you are. That one, 6000 I said, 6000 The value of his work isn't completely wasted. For the past several years, Phelps has donated one painting to the South Hold Dance Theater for their annual nostalgia fundraiser. It, it goes for about $5,000, and then we always have a matching donator for $5,000, so it brings in about $10,000 a year. The money raised by this painting helps with the production cost of South Hold's annual holiday show, The Nutcracker. A ballet starring many Michiana teens, most of whom require tuition assistance. He first got involved because he loves kids. He's so great with the kids. He's so generous, and he loves the production. The production also has a role for Phelps himself. I got into playing Mother Ginger, dressing in drag up on that cake, and the kids come out and dance. Phelps may never paint anything as renowned as Van Gogh's Starry Night, but every individual brushstroke in his paintings... There you go. Digga! ...shows the winning play he drew up to beat number one UCLA... That's play to ...isn't Digger's only work of art. It's in all of us, except we're intimidated because all the great artists, oh my God, that's a Van Gogh, you know, I can't do that. Really? Have you tried? 